Praise the Lord, saints. Thank God for this Saturday evening, last Saturday in this month. Where has time gone? Yeah. Time is moving. We also be praying for the sick and shut in. Yeah. We praying for the Flack family, the yeah. lost uh, Elder Roy Flack. That's old, uh, one of the members of the Spirit Church that have been here for a while, but the Lord has took him out of this old world of sin and pain. And he's in a better place with the Lord. We praise God for him being such a faithful young man in the Lord and also his family. We praise God for them to be going through this time of bereavement that God is able. Also, the Parks family, uh, Bishop Henry Parks. Yeah, thank you. Brothers Phil Wise, John uh, Parks was Phil Wise with us today, praying for that family for comfort. In a time of bereavement, remember the sick and shut in everywhere. Sister Watkins also yeah. is going through surgery. Uh, Sister Nancy Turner yeah. going through surgery. So we just lift up the names. Also, our founding mother, Amen. the mother out there of grace, and be the God to bless her body Amen. and bless her family as well. And also, we want to remember our mother of the church, Mother Carla, Clara Carla, yeah. uh, our mother. Senior mother of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. She is doing well. We praise God for her. Amen. The Lord's been good. He's been good. He's been good. And we give God honor and praise. Uh, this Saturday, so many are going home to be with the Lord. So many have been lost since 2020. Yeah. But God is still faithful. God is still good. And I give God honor and praise for him. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for all that He is doing in this season. And I just want to pray for those out there who may be going through a storm right now. Father God, in the precious yeah. Lord, the name of Jesus, right now, Jesus. Lord, to touch it, those families that are bereaved right now. Right now. Those families are going through a, a storm. But every storm has its ending. It's a ceasing time. Jesus. And Lord God, we say cease to this disease, cease to this pandemic, cease to the wars around the world, yeah. cease to all these things that are happening. Look on the, the new Supreme Court justice that will yes, be Lord, appointed. Right Lord, bless that young lady and our family. And so many mean things have been said this week. And we know it's political, Lord, but praise God, even for our enemies, praise God for the ones that slightly use us, Lord. We pray for them in yes, Jesus' Lord. name. And yes. we anoint you with the power of God right now. Be healed, be set free, be delivered in Jesus' name. We also thank God for Apostle Carter. He made it back off his trip uh, out to see our Washington. Good thing he made it safely back home. And may God continue to bless him and his family and his body and his church. Yeah. So uh, Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. This is the what the Lord said to his anointed. He said, This is what the Lord says to his anointed. Amen. I don't know what he's saying right now. This is a special individual. That I'm speaking to right now. He's my special, he's my anointed. He's chosen for the master's use. Amen. He's set apart. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to be set apart for what the yeah. Lord has for us yeah. to do, saints of God? Praise God. Amen. He was anointed. Uh, Christ, uh, Cyrus, the right hand had taken hold uh, and he had subdued uh, nations before him. And the uh, strike kings and their armies into open doors before him so the gates will not be shut and I will go before you and I will lever the mountains and I will break down the gates of brass. So whatever standing in your way today God can tear it down. Whatever it is, sickness, disease or trouble in your life, God will walk through those gates of despair. The gates of you going through a sickness, God can go right through and don't even have to touch it. Because why? Because he is God. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. He break through. He cut down walls of iron. And he will give treasures in darkness. Riches stored in a secret place so that you may know that I am the Lord. When things are hidden from you and, I, and things that you've been trying to pray and seek God for, the hidden place, the devil is hidden things, but God will reveal all things. Hallelujah to his anointing. Praise God. We are special in the sight of the Lord and I bless his name on today. We are excited. Our services are tomorrow at 11 a.m.
come and be with us on tomorrow. Uh, we expect a high time in the Lord. Amen. We come in expectation. Uh, we come and believe that God can work miracles, signs, and wonders. Yeah. We believe God can save someone on tomorrow. We believe that somebody will be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We need it, says the God. We live in some tough times now. And it's hard to see so many people are gone uh, that we knew this year. But God is still in control. So the Lord is our helper and he's our defender. And uh, the God of Israel, the God, he said, I, I summon you by name and restore on you the time of honor, though you do not acknowledge me. I am the Lord and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. That's right. Hey, Amen. There is no God. Uh, I will strengthen you, through, uh, though you have no acknowledgement of me, so that from the rising of the sun to the going down of its setting, man may know there is none besides me. He is the only true God. Jesus Christ is his name. We yeah. praise God for you today, Mr. Lord. May you have a blessed and prosperous day. In Jesus' name, bless you to be seen on tomorrow. Come by and see us, 1025 Mespa Church Road, M-I-Z-P-A-H Church Road, Reesville, North Carolina, 27320. Come by and see us. Call us. Check on us. In Jesus' name, we love you. God loves you more.